Hello, this is Patron in the Dark. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a new holster from Craft Holsters. So let's check it out. All right, before I get to the holster, I'll describe what's on display. In the upper left-hand corner, we have the Smith & Wesson 442 J-Frame Revolver. The muzzle is facing to the right. Just below that, I have five rounds of Hornady Critical Defense on a speed strip. In the upper right-hand corner, we have the Patriot in the Dark logo sticker. And I also have a black leather Core Essentials gun belt going from the top left to the lower right. In the center of the screen is the holster. Now, this is a Craft Holsters. Um, their information is in the description below, as well as their website is craftholsters.com. All right. I was contacted by a gentleman from the company to see if I wanted to review the holster. Um, if you watch my channel, you know I like black because good guys wear black and I like leather holsters. And lucky me, that's what they make. Um, they do have other things as well. They cover uh, concealment holsters, shoulder rigs, they have belts, as well as concealment bags. Now this is a European company and they um, kind of outsource to local uh, craftsmen. So their quality seems to be really good. Now, I just got this uh, five days ago, so there's more of just an unboxing. Um, my first impressions of the holster are, um, it's really light compared to what I'm <laughs> normally, what I carry is a 1911 compact and outside the waistband holster, and it is all leather. Um, but this leather is a lot thinner, but it seems more rigid, all right? It kind of resembles, uh, to me, like a, a gear shift or something, you know, this, the, the nice smooth leather, but it's, it's tight and rigid, right? So um, you get the holster, it came in wrapped up nice, and it also comes with a color matched leather dye, an applicator, and a chamois uh, to keep your uh, holster looking good, which is kind of nice. Um, hopefully that's not leaking. That would be bad, wouldn't it? Um, Anyways, with this holster, uh, actually, I'll show you with the pistol. So we make sure she's clear. And verify. Now, like I said, I did just uh, fit this um, overnight once, which I used plastic wrap. I wrapped around maybe three times and then just inserted the pistol. But um, the retention on this seems really nice. Um, it might relax a little bit, but and the back of this holster, um, just underneath the trigger guard, there is a section of elastic that helps out with keeping that retention. So I'll have to check that over time. But um, it basically, over the three days that I did wear it, uh, this basically just disappeared uh, compared to obviously a 1911 that's a little heavier. Uh, this revolver is only 15 ounces or so, uh, but it feels really nice. Uh, the quality, uh, there's nothing that's sticking out. All the edges are nice around it, all right? So, I don't know. Uh, one of the things with this being a European com uh, company, um, if you check on their website with their search engine, you may be able to find uh, firearm holsters that uh, aren't readily available here. It seems like they, they have, uh, you know, things that might be a little different or... Um, obscure and if you can't find a holster you might want to check them out so uh, craftholsters.com so so far I think I, I like it um, I've been doing a lot of videos with this uh, Smith & Wesson 442 lately and at the time that I was contacted I didn't have a holster for it so this one seems to uh, uh, fit the bill so make sure you check them out craftholsters.com and I will keep you updated uh, as I wear this um, and see how it goes. So as always, make it an outstanding day and never fear the dark.